Hi Georgia B back again. Today I'd like to show how I made this card. This card I'm saying it's called Writing on the Wall because there's a wall stamp behind it with script and all the letters spelling out Happy Birthday. I have two male birthdays in the month of March and these will be ideally for them. So, no, not March. I've got two in March and two in April. So that's four mail cards I need. So these will be two of them. To make this card, I've got a card base of 8x8, eight eight, scored at four, folded in half. Let's burnish that. I have got a piece of misty moonlight of seven and a quarter by three and th seven and three quarters by three and three quarters. Then I have a piece of white at three and five eighths by seven and five eighths. Also got a piece of white at three and three quarters by seven and three quarters for the inside. I right, all these letters. I'll stamp it up letters. The big ones obviously are retired ones and these ones are from the playful alphabet. And what I've done is cut them all out and coloured them in. Now all the big letters, there's two of them that I've stuck together just to raise them a little bit. And all the little letters I've got four stuck together. So I cut out four, only coloured one, the top one, and I've got one left to do which is the Y. So there's the top one, I've got to colour that in and stick it on top of there, which we'll do now. Move that over there. do that before we get into our stamping. Right, I need to just find a scrap of paper to do my colouring. So I've got a misty moonlight um, blender pen and I just coloured that in like that. Two seconds and it's done. Then I glued that to my pile of whites. Like that. that away for now. I'll leave that there because I'll need that. Right, bring in my top white stamps. I'm using my brick wall stamp. This doesn't have a name. I bought this at a um, craft fair a couple of years ago. It's been a little while since I've been to one. And very facile. I'm going to be using the script and this thing here. So, stick that on there and that on there. Alright, I'm just going to leave that there and with crumb cake ink it up and place the card on top 
with my scrap paper and I'm going to rub it all over. And there we have our brick wall. Move that there. Now, with our script, which we're also going to use crumb cake, I'm going to place one there. Piece there. Putting it around the edges. That's it. All I need to do there, and then with this little pattern, I just plunked it anywhere. Like that. And then I'll leave that open. I've got balmy blue here. Come with this and one of these. I forgot what they're called. I've got a load of these in the drawer. Um, they're blenders, I think. Cover it with balmy blue and then just went round the outside with it. Some places have gone darker than others. Just taking it in a bit at the middle. Put that to one side. Now with crumb cake, do the same. As you can see, I've put different colours on these. And I'm just going to rub some crumb cake in some of the places and stick my finger in that. Drag that out a bit because it seems a bit dark. There we are. And that is all I've done for the background. Using them two colours. All we've got to do is stick this on here and put it on the mat, coloured mat. this on the card base like that one of this paper's annoying me right now then, with all our letters, 
we're having a big H and then we want the small A next to it then a big P and a small P and a Y those are happy and then our birthday needs to be higher than the H B I R move that over got to be really tight with this T H D, A, and guess what? I've gone and lost the Y. Why? I think that will do. Happy birthday. And all we've got to do now is stick them all down. Making sure they're all nice and straight and in the right order. The reason for this card is I did have someone in mind and he's visually impaired. He can run his fingers over these. read them with his fingers. I don't know how to do braille. Honestly I don't think he can read braille. It's my friend's um, husband's birthday. It'd be 90 I think. I'm not 100% sure that's why he's not getting a 90 card. So I don't know if he's 90 or 89. I wouldn't be surprised if him and his son are off to Gibraltar for his birthday. He loves visiting Gibraltar. But he can't go on his own, so his son goes with him.
I didn't say what colour. I used crumb cake, um, balmy blue, and misty moonlight to colour in the letters. And that is nearly done. Do you know what? I nearly thought I'd put it on the wrong way. So with this we'll just do our normal um, sign. So we're doing it in blue, misty moonlight. There we are. One card complete. I think this is my first mail of the year. Because I didn't film my husband's when I made his card. And this card was in January 13th. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday, uh, Monday and Friday. There's nothing more for me to say, so I hope to see you soon. And thank you for watching.